guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie Kendall and in today's video I'm going to take you through the weaning process from the snoo. So for those of you who don't know, the snoo is a smart bassinet and basically it's supposed to mimic the mother's womb. So you put your baby in and then all night or during nap time or whatever, there's a constant swaying motion going on. Okay, so your baby's constantly in motion and then there's a built-in sound machine. So um, whenever your baby starts to fuss or you know move around or whatever then the smart part really starts and the speed picks up a little bit and then the sound gets louder so yeah <laughs> so this new is supposed to help to comfort your baby and put them back to sleep so great amazing awesome right yeah well one of the biggest questions my husband and i had before we purchased this new and still after we purchased this new was what's gonna happen when we have to transition our baby out of it like Will she need constant motion? Will she have to be rocked the whole night for her whole life? <laughs> you know, these. this is an honest question and I've had a lot of people ask me that same question and I didn't know the answer until I had to go through it myself with the weaning process. So I thought this would be a really good video to make because when I was getting close to deciding to start the weaning process, I looked up I would look stuff everywhere. Like I went on YouTube, I looked online, and there are some people online, or there's some groups you can go on on Facebook or whatever that talk about it a little bit. Um, but there is not really that many videos on it, so I thought that I'd make a video. So this video is gonna be basically like a week long diary. Okay, so video diary. So you're gonna get the raw, real footage from how the process actually went. And now, looking back on that footage, I'm like, holy moly, <laughs> thank goodness I made that because. I would have totally forgot the first week or couple days and like, you know, how it could be a little bit rough. Like I would have totally forgot about it because now it's a totally different story. Um, but I thought I would just show you how it really went. Um, so that's what this video is gonna be about. And then I'm gonna give kind of, not a review, but a review on the weaning process. So um, really quickly before I get started, <laughs> yeah, before I get started into the diary portion, I just wanna say, we started to wean Harper, our, our daughter, um, out of this new around five and a half, almost six months. And the reason we decided to start at that time was because first of all, she was getting a little bit too big, okay? She was just getting a little too big for it. And um, also she had started to roll. So although I was not concerned like with the safety of it, because in this new you're actually strapped in, like you cannot roll physically. Even if you're able to roll, you cannot in there. So I wasn't nervous for her safety, um, but, I just knew she wasn't that comfortable anymore. And she had started like, you know, moving her arms around a lot and whacking herself on the side of it. And I just knew it was time. If it were up to me, I would have kept her in my room forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> but I knew that it was selfish for me to keep her in the snoo because she just wasn't getting the best sleep that she could anymore. And she needed her own space or just more space. <laughs> So that is a little bit of the background. Um, now I think we'll just go ahead and get right into my video diary for the first week or so of the snoo. Really quick, one more side note. It got kind of confusing to film because I started filming uh, during nap time one day. So then the next day I would say, okay, this is day two. Let me tell you about night one. And then by the time I was like day four, I was like day four, night five, night three. I, I don't know. <laughs> it got a little bit overwhelming, honestly. So. I hope you don't get confused, but really it doesn't matter. I just want you to see like the real honest way that it went and you will see just that. So please hang on, wait till the very end so you can hear my all of my thoughts about this whole process and how it really, really went. So let's get to that video diary now. Okay, so today is day one of us trying to wean Harper out of the snoo. And as you can probably hear, it's not going too well. Let me show you. So there is a pretty realistic representation of how things are going so far, but I still have hope. Um, I put her in at 9.45 and it's now like 10.30 and she's had periods of time where she was totally calm and I thought she was asleep. However, right now it's not going good. So I will check back in later. Okay, well it's been a full hour and it's not happening right now, so. Hey. What's wrong? You don't want to take a nap? Are you okay? 
Okay, okay. All right, okay, we're gonna get up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's still day one, and this is our second attempt at getting her to nap, and so far it's going great. We have it on the weaning setting now. Um, I just finally did that today, and so right now she's calm. It is not moving at all. It's just uh, the sound, like the sound machine is on in there, and it's just sitting there, so um, she's doing good, I would say. 34 minutes, almost 35, and she hasn't um, fussed at all. She went right down, so... Whew, finally, <laughs> something good today <laughs> with nap time. Hey guys, so today is day three of our weaning process from the snoo, and last night was night two, and let me just say, it was a success. So Harper slept better last night than she has for like two weeks, so let me just show you really quick. So you can see she slept for eight hours and 28 minutes. And then um, after she woke up in the morning, actually she went back to sleep for a little bit, over an hour. So, mama is very pleased. And right now she is napping in her crib. Fingers crossed, but it's going good so far. It's been about six minutes, <laughs> but I will check in later. Okay, so here is last night, which was night three. Um, she went down pretty well, like no crying right away. She woke up a little bit around, what does that say, 11, 16. Um, but we did not have to take her out. So we didn't. I didn't have to take her out until 4, 23. So I would say that's pretty good. And then she woke up at 7.50 today. Um, so I would say night three was not as good as night two, but it definitely was not bad at all. Um, better than expected. And right now she has been down napping in her crib for about 30 minutes. So we will see how this goes. Yesterday naps, um, she ended up doing two naps in her crib for about 45 minutes each. So not the greatest, but at least she's learning to fall asleep in her crib. So here we are, I'll check back in later. Okay, so I checked in this morning and I had told you that she had been napping in her crib for about 30 minutes. Well, I'm here to report very good news. She has now been napping in her crib for almost two hours. That's crazy, okay? She's doing so good. I'm so proud. So, I don't want to jinx myself, but I really do feel like it's getting better every single day. Um, so. Hopefully this continues, but just want to check in and let you know that nap one on day four. It's getting confusing for me to say like day four, night three, you know, it's kind of confusing, but it should be okay when I put it all together, hopefully. <laughs> all right, guys, she's awake now. She's crying on her little monitor and her nap was one hour and 55 minutes. Can you believe it? Harp! Your nap was so good. Are you so excited for the day now? Yay! My goodness, let me turn off your monitor. New sound machine. So I can hear myself echoing. Wow. I am so stinking proud of you. You're such a good girl. Yay! You ready to wake up and play? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good job, baby. All right, guys, so here was night four. Not the best, but not too bad. Um, six hours um, for one stretch, and then flower, calm down. And then um, she ended up waking up at 8.39. So, not too bad. Um, kind of similar to the night before. And then right now, she's currently down for her first nap of the day. And she's been sleeping for about an hour and 10 minutes. So, so far, so good. Hey guys, so I didn't check in yesterday. Um, we actually were out all day um, and Harper didn't nap once. So, I can't even give you like a fair thing on that. But, 
let's see here i gotta i'm gonna stop saying the days because it's like so confusing for me so tuesday night um i posted on instagram that i was putting her in her crib for her first time at night and she went down perfectly she went down so good but then she ended up waking up um after like an hour and cried i went up i just rubbed her head she went back to sleep i was like oh yes and then again around 10 30 she woke up and she was just like i couldn't get her to calm down so i failed i put her back in the snoo um on ween so it was not rocking or moving or anything like that um and she fell right to sleep um and she slept from 10 29 to 6 12 so um that was very good and then last night she slept from 8 40 to 4 49 and then went back to sleep at 5 11 and then um slept until 8 55 that's very good so that wasn't this new obviously not in her crib but i'm here to report that right now she's in her crib napping she went down with no fight like totally calm and she just woke up and she went down at 11 and it's 11 39 I'll take it. It's not bad. I mean, she's not screaming. She's not, you know, so I'm going to leave her in there for a little bit. Kind of just let her play around until she gets mad. Um, and then I'll go get her. But something else that just, that she just started. So she has like rolled before, you know, like every once in a while she'll like roll. But like two days ago she started rolling and now she can't stop. It's like her favorite thing. So she likes to roll from her back to her belly like over and over and over. So now I'm having trouble when I put her in the crib. She like will fight it because she just rolls and then she gets like stressed or something. And then she just cries and cries and cries and I like, come get her. I put her back on her back. It's like, I don't know, she's like panics because she's there. First it's like it's fun, but then after a few minutes it's like it gets like panicky. So I have to obviously go flip her. So I don't know if that's like if you guys have ever had an issue with that when your baby started to roll. She's obviously not swaddled anymore, so that's not an issue, but um, I don't know. I mean, maybe she would sleep better on her stomach. Um, I'm not going to obviously put her on her stomach if she rolls that way, but she like doesn't know how to like relax yet. You know what I'm saying? So let me know if you ever had an issue with that, if there's anything I can do or if that's just normal and it will pass. But I am going to probably go get her because she's rolling around right now. <laughs> and I will check back in later. Okay, so I said I would check back in later, but it's literally just like a second later. I just wanted to show you, see what she's... <laughs> So she's rolling right now and she's not all the way over but she's like on her side and she's still calm but i'm telling you in a few minutes she'll be on her belly and she'll just be like screaming after she's there for like a minute or two so help <laughs> nice no good morning good morning from your nap <gasps> you're so cute let's get up okay oh <laughs> hey <gasps> your doggies want to play with you okay whoa okay let's go get up good morning guys well good afternoon actually it is friday and this little babe just woke up from an hour and 35 minute nap her longest one of the whole week and I am so stinking proud of her so in her crib tell everyone how you feel harpy are you so proud of yourself huh she's not sure how good she really is good job all right guys well I hope you enjoyed seeing that real raw footage okay so now just a couple of notes that I have in my notebook here so don't mind if i'm glancing at it here and there i don't want to forget anything this is all very important so okay all of the naps in this video besides one were taken in her crib now if i could go back i don't think i would have done that okay i think i would have actually kept her in the snoo and used the weaning setting all the time i don't know why for that first week i only used it at night okay but i want to say that the weaning setting on the Snoo app is amazing. Like I was so nervous that she wasn't gonna go for that because basically what the weaning setting is is that you put your baby in and only the sound is on. There is no movement. The movement only comes on then if your baby starts to get fussy. So I was like, oh heck no, she's not gonna have it. She loved it. So I think that the Snoo itself is just such a comfortable space for the baby, your baby that they just love being in it. Okay, so 
I'm not even sure if the movement had such a like was such a big deal. It was more of just she was used to that space and she loved it. So like I said, the all the video I, that you just watched, she, I put her in naps in her crib. So I like went from snoo to crib like right away for naps. Um, like, like like I said, if I were to go back, I probably wouldn't do that. I would just use the weaning setting for naps and night for the whole first week. It turned out fine, but that's what I would have done if I could do it again. Um, okay, so then one week after, or like after that one week on, it was like a Sunday, the next Sunday, whenever it was, which was um, June 7th, I put her in her crib overnight for the first time and she did so good. She woke up one time at two o'clock and she just won her pacifier, that was it. And I wanna say something about that too. Ever since I put her into her crib that night, she never has one time ever needed a feeding again in the middle of the night. It was like magic. Like, I don't, I mean, I know there's a lot of reasons why that is, you know, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. So that's something that's so encouraging because I don't know, maybe her just being closer to me, she wanted to eat more, just knew I was there. Or maybe before I just jumped to do it. I just jumped to feeding her when she cried. She cried, I was like, oh, you wanna eat? Okay, you know? Um, but as soon as I put her into her crib overnight, no more feedings in the night. That totally dropped and went away. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel like it was just, it turned out being so good. And like I said, I would really use that weaning setting on the snoo more. Um, I don't know, I just for some reason thought, whoa, she's ready to go to her crib, let's put her in her crib. I was so concerned that she was gonna hate her crib that I felt like I jumped a little bit too quickly. Um, one more thing, so the snoo has a swaddle, okay? But Harper, um, never really loved being swaddled tightly or maybe she would have, but I felt so uncomfortable doing that. I don't know, I might be the only one in the world, but I did not like swaddling her because I felt like it was a force thing. Like she'd be crying and screaming. I'd be like trying to get her in the swaddle and I just felt like she did not want to. So for her whole time in the snoo, pretty much, there were some nights I got away with it, but most nights I always left one arm out because it does give you that option. You can un, um, there's like little snaps up here. You can unsnap them and then pop their arms out. Um, for the whole time she was in the snoo, I really usually left out one arm. So transitioning from one to both arms was not a big deal. I know that some people um, have a little bit of an issue when their baby goes from swaddled to not swaddled anymore, you know, cause that's a huge um, thing of comfort for your baby being swaddled, most babies. <laughs> and to take that away, that's a big deal. And then to take them out of the snoo, that's another big deal. So I don't know if this is like right or correct, but maybe try with one arm at a time. If your baby's having a hard time from going from swaddled to not, try with one arm, you know? Um, then they're still kind of swaddled, but they have a little freedom. I don't know, they'll get used to it, you know? So yeah, I feel like I just yeah. threw it all out there. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to say about the weaning process. I just thought this was a really important video to make because I think it's one of the biggest questions that people have about the snoo. Like, how hard is it to transition your baby? I'm gonna go as far as to say, which I could be totally, totally wrong about this, and maybe I should save it for my snoo review video, but I seriously think that the snoo really helped to train Harper, train Harper, um, to sleep well. And I mean, truthfully, we have an amazing sleeper. We go through weeks like everybody else, you know, or days or whatever, where we have a little bit of a, you know, rough patch. We hit rough patches here and there. We have hard times with sleep, but for the most part, I feel like she's been an angel. I have not had to sleep train. I had not do anything, really, like nothing. The snoo was amazing and oh, I just, I love it. I think the weaning process is not something that you should be afraid of. So if that is what's holding you back from purchasing the snoo, please just purchase the snoo. Um, it's awesome. You can rent it if you don't want to buy it up front, but the resale value is so good. You could buy it and then sell it and whatever, you know? So yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful in some way. If it was, if you enjoyed it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this, more review videos, if there's any questions you have about um, this process that maybe I didn't touch on because I got so like, blah, 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 blah. I got so excited about it. <laughs> so please just let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.